hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for tech so two days before our one and only siberia android 12 rom for the oneplus 6 had got new update of siberia 5.1 this update brings new improvement and the features add-on which i will discuss in the video but another great news is that i have found the way you can now update the rom as a dirty flash without data loss but actually you need to first change your data partition to f2fs file system this will cause the first time data wipe if you are installing the Siberia 5.0 then switch to F2FS so updating to Siberia 5.1 will be available with the dirty flash. But if you are not done that yet you can do it now with the installation so the next update will be dirty flashable. So without wasting time let's get started. On the new adventure. <laughs> So first download the Cyberia 5.1 zip, firmware zip and the nick gapp score package zip. First remove all the pin password in the security settings. Now boot your device into the TWRP 3.6 recovery. So here as my last installation video I already switched to TWRP 3.6 from the orange Fox recovery. Now while the installation of the Cyberia 5.0 I switched to F2FS file system. So I will just show you how to do that. We need to go to the wipe, advanced wipe, then select the data and click change or repair file system. Now select F2FS and slide the bottom bar. This will erase your data. Here I already done that so I will directly dirty flash the ROM. So go to the install flash server as zip, then go to the advanced, then click install current TWRP. Now reboot back to TWRP again. Now flash the firmware first, then flash the GF zip. Now click reboot and surprisingly our new update 5.1 was installed without clean installation. Hope you are clear with the dirty flash installation it's possible only with the F2FS file system because TWRP has only working encryption with the F2FS file system. So first switch to the FTFS no doubt it's faster than ext4 without any issues I already using it from the last update of Siberia 5.0. After reboot first we'll go to the settings about phone. So we upgraded to Siberia 5.1, we got the new security patch for the December 2021, ROM is upstream with the latest Linux Android 12 R20, this is the latest build by 14th December 2021. So now we'll check what new thing we got in this ROM. ROM comes with the inbuilt system update application where we can directly check for the new updates manually or we will get the update notification whenever you connect it to the networks which can be downloaded and flash automatically also there is a local update option available in the three dot menu but i recommend you to don't use this always flash the rom with the twrp manually to avoid the boot loops rom comes with the now bar pill hide setting inside the gesture setting so we can enjoy the full screen without any interruptions New quick setting tiles were added with the new update which help us to access the necessary things directly from the quick setting panel. So if we go to the cyber settings and the panel, we will see the new icon pack has been added to the battery style, OLT icons and for the whole Wi-Fi icons in the status bar customizations. ROM comes with the new updated version of Launcher Launcher which is actually highly customizable than the Pixel Launcher specifically for the applying the ascent colors to the icon is now available in the launcher for the dock. We can change the icon shapes, we are able to change the icon ascent color as per the system or wallpaper theme. There are bunch of the color presets are available to choose. Dark and the light theme is available for the launcher separately instead of system settings. Clear all and the custom recent corner radius is available which is pretty useful. Another feature called edge light which I didn't found elsewhere in the setting. If you got that please comment in the video comment section. Instead of all this feature ROM has fixed the camera crash while using the portrait, nice head and other features that cause in the four scrolls of the application. ROM has shifted to the new Vulkan UI rendering so the performance improvement is obvious in the gaming. So this ROM is really doing very well for the OnePlus 6, regular updates are getting with the underwood improvement and the fixes. So I will create a videos for this ROM regularly, if you want such videos please mention in the comment section. 
so that's it for today guys if you like my hard work please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content thanks for watching see you next time bye bye